Recently, guys, U.S. home prices hit a record of $375,300 in March. Jump in median price for existing home came as mortgage interest rates climbed sharply and a shortage of homes for sale continued. <laughs> So let's talk about housing. This is actually an interesting topic for me because recently I got interested in housing. So real estate business and... So continuing, US house prices soared to a new record in March while mortgage rates continue to raise rapidly. Slowing home sales in what has been the hottest housing market in more than 15 years. Existing home sales fell 2.7% last month from February. March sales fell 4.5% from a year earlier. The raise of remote work and the pursuit of more space unleashed a powerful wave of home buying when COVID-19 related lockdowns started to ease in the mid 2020s. The frenzied housing market supported by ultra low interest rate at the time lifted home price throughout the country. Low interest rate, it lifts house prices because people were then interested in buying houses. Homes for sale often stayed on the market for less than a month and sometimes only days while open house could draw lines around the block. Now that frenzy is Frenzy, this is frenzy, right? It's starting to ease and the volume of home sales is reverting to pre-pandemic level. Now, that frenzy is starting to ease and the volume for home sale is reverting to pre-pandemic level. With a mortgage rate at 5%, is this high? And back to their highest level since 12, 2011, Sir Yoon expects home sales in 2022 to decrease 10% from last year. Wait, so kind of understanding. So mortgage rate is now at 5%. So my first question I asked was, is this a lot? And 5% is gigantic. Interest rates were actually at 2 to 3%, but they increased 2%. <gasps> Interest rates right now are at 0 0.25. Hmm? And it makes monthly mortgage payment lower by having the low interest rate. More demand limited supplies equals raise in price. A Fed rate, yeah. So 5% in mortgage rate is high. Is that correct? Because it used to be at 2 to 3. Okay, so this is someone who never bought a house. 2% increase. High for recently, but not historically. So recently, it's really high. The combination of higher bor borrowing rate and an extremely low inventory of home for sale has led some buyers to give up. Purchase mortgage application volume was down 3% last week from a week earlier and down 14% from a year ago so what is this mortgage application volume so you actually have to apply when you want to buy houses like hey today i want to buy a house so mortgage application is like application to borrow money uh borrow money to buy a house not you have to apply to just buy a house it's okay 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 i thought you actually have need to like federal approval that saying i'm ready to buy a house but i guess it's still the same thing right since generally you don't have cash to buy a house, yeah. Unless you're super rich or you bought like Bitcoin back in 2012. And that it's now hard because there aren't that many homes for sales. Oh, I want to know in terms of location wise, because if we compare it to maybe like New York, obviously it's probably really hard to buy a house and it's expensive. But what about like, like Mississippi, you know, or what are some, you know, like pacific area like colorado i'm not dissing these states but i just think that they have less people is that considered dissing or even wisconsin well how about other places so new york city is not actually not that bad it's a suburb near new york city uh, new york city ah so new york many states probably uh but not all states less homes available overall okay so continuing we do see a lot of serious pre-approved buyer that were ready to go just a month ago and now they're not in the market anymore all of a sudden. Well, this is San Diego. This guy, this girl is Monica in San Diego. Doesn't San Diego make sense? <laughs> this one, I think it makes sense. Well, analysts expect home prices to keep climbing due to limited supply. Uh, the inventory of 950,000 homes for sale at the end of March was down 9.5% from March 2021. 
many homes on the market still receive multiple offers. The median existing home price rose 15% in March from a year earlier to $375,300. A record high in data going back to 1999. <gasps> so it reached the highest now. Wow. So this two couple bought a house which was listed for $225,000 located in Springfield, Illinois. And they paid $245,000. They also sold Mr. Walker's home last month for $126,000 after receiving six offers within the first day of listing. <gasps> in this market, you know that there's tons of offers. You just have to accept the fact that you're going to pay more than what it's listed for. <gasps> the spring is often the busiest season for home sales, with 40% of typical existing home purchases occurring between March and June, according to NAR. Real estate agents already seen signs that act Activity has been picking up this spring compared with the slower winter month. But this spring sales are expected to fall short of the season torrid pace last year. How come spring is the busiest season? Maybe people are getting married more during spring and the winter maybe not. School summer vacation is normally uh, normally happens in May. Oh, oh, that's true. Well, I never thought about that way. I was thinking like newly wed people. <laughs> so. People generally move around less during winter, but from personal experience, checking the heating during the winter is ex important. Yeah, but also AC though, no? Winter rent prices go down also. Oh, that's also nice. Okay, well, let's continue reading about housing. The number of people who are in the market has been reduced, but so has the number of homes on the market. If mortgage rate raise much further, I think they will start becoming a factor, but I don't think they're a factor yet. Consumers already feel pessimistic about the housing market. Non-homeowners surveyed by the New York Federal Reserve in February <laughs> said they had a 43.3% likelihood of owning a home in the future. Down from 51.6% a year earlier and the lowest on record in data is going back to 2014. 43.3 is optimistic. <laughs> it's hard to buy a house now. Yeah, who's actually thinking about buying a house? Who wants to how I'm, I'm guessing everyone. I'm saving up for it, but at this rate, oh. Who here can actually afford to buy a house though? Like, not to diss you guys, be like, Ugh, you guys can't buy a house, but a studio? Oh, I can buy a house in Minecraft. Oh, <laughs> like including the debt though. Like, let's say I can still pay up for the debt. For me, since I'm a streamer, I don't have a daily income, so I'm not, I won't, I'd be afraid to risk buying a house. Also, the housing fee in Korea is also expensive. Depends on how much the house costs. Ah, uh, that's true. Like, any house you want to buy. You probably don't want to buy, like, a studio house, though. Like, if you want to have... If you want a house where you can, you know, grow your kids and everything. Like, if you want to think about that much. So let's continue. Only 24% of consumer survey said it was a good time to buy a house. Less than half the rate a year earlier and record low in data going back to mid-2010. Entry-level buyers are having a especially tough time of it, in part because there are fewer available house homes for sale at lower price point. The share of first-time buyer in the market fell to 30% from 32%. While the sudden raise in mortgage rate is causing some buyers to peel off, others are acting before rates climb. A couple decided to move last year from Arizona to Ohio to be closer to their mom and to buy a house, which they couldn't afford to do in Phoenix. So Arizona is actually maybe more expensive than Ohio. During the month and a half, they look for a house to buy in Ohio. Mortgage rate climbed from 3.75% to 4%. So they ended up buying a ranch house in Ontario, Ohio for $218,500 in March with a 4% interest rate. And they plan to move in June. We feel like we're very lucky. Building activity has increased due to the strong demand, but builders have been slowed by supply chain issues and labor shortage. Housing starts a measure of U.S. home building rose 0.3% in March from February. So they're trying to build more houses, right? This is a good sign. So more houses are trying to come. But however, the demand for labor shortage, this also makes sense, probably because of how much they're getting paid and supply chain issues. There, There's issue with materials. My renovation cost went up. Wait, okay. So let's talk about material for a sec for housing. How much does it... Or what do you need? You probably need wood. <laughs> Wait, is it wood or brick? I don't know how to build a build a house, guys. So pandemic screwed up supply chain that hasn't haven't fully recovered. So wood price is expensive, and this is cause of all all of this is cause of pandemic. My friend rebuilding his recent bought house to resell it. 
He's saying wood is super expensive. I wonder what percentage has increased for wood. According to random link, as of December 29, the price of framing lumber topped 1,000 per thousand. <gasps> Oh, 167% increase since last Ju last August. Oh, 100! No wonder they can't build more houses. So, what they... Wait, what if... Is there other materials they can use other than wood? And that's what I'm also shocked with, is that they haven't figured out other materials they can use to build houses. How about, like, plastic? <laughs> People haven't thought of other materials to build houses. Oh, joke aside, guys. Is wood still the best choice? Like, this is 2022. Wood is the cheapest and it's at $1,000? Half the US was covered in forest. So, how about now? I'm sure they can be alternate materials, but wood is easier to work with. Ah. Even brick houses use wood? Wow. I never thought people still use wood. I thought it would have been like still like steel or something. This is very important news that we should know of, guys. So who still is thinking about buying a house? <laughs> After all this, you know, you know, house pricing has reached $375,000, yada yada yada. So what are some ways to buy houses? Number one, make more money. Two, <laughs> go to army. <laughs> Go to army and get VA loan. So uh, buy without down payment. <laughs> Three, get a job at FANG. Dang. Four, get a cheap land, build your own. Well, remember, wood costs a lot. <laughs> but would it be cheaper for me to build my own than buying a house? Yeah, probably, right? It would cost like 200k to buy a build a crappy one then is it really worth buying one? because <laughs> you still have to buy the land and build everything <sighs> five win a lottery ah uh, this is reality guys enough with you know like fairy tale mode inherit a house <laughs> check your check your grandpa uh if he ask your grandpa if he has a house become a successful oh yeah streamer <laughs> But some people are saying it's cheap, but if you check your location, it's probably this is guys, this is the median, but it did jump, which means that wherever you guys are living, it's probably too high for you guys to purchase with the income that you're making. Not dissing how much you guys are making, but it's just that the pricing is just crazy. Oh, number eight, rent. <laughs> Consider the maintenance fee involved with the house. If you don't know how to do stuff, that's all money bleeding out. Yeah. And property tax. That's true. So my next question is, does this price, when they're saying US home prices has increased, does this include condos? Or is now the next best option to, instead of buying houses, to buy condos? Condos usually have condo fee. Yeah. Oh, they're still expensive? But they moan your lawn. <laughs> Kanu will have ho H Hoa? What is Hoa? What's HOA? A uh, homeowner association. Oh. That's extra payment. So you have to pay for HOA? That's another 500 a month? That's so bad though. Guys, then what's better? Okay, let me give you guys options. So since the housing prices increase and everything is just so expensive and you know, it's... All these options of trying to buy a house. I don't know, maybe some of you guys live or who has a job at Fang or maybe, you know, who's an army. You guys can just listen. I condo. Is that cheaper? I'm not sure, but that could be an option. Renting. So just being a house that you can just rent for or an apartment. So finding roommate would be part of renting. Homeless? <laughs> Oh, live with relatives. That's also important. That's also an option. Oh, there's also townhouse. I didn't like the townhouses. So there are other options out there, but it's always great to buy your own house. Because, you know, like when you're a kid, you have that like story time and you have goals in your life. And around 30 something, you're always like, I want to buy a house. I want to sell you to conclude. 
I hope you guys can afford your own houses and that hopefully someday the housing fee could go down. I highly doubt it, but yeah, good luck on buying houses, guys. And that's all for the housing. It's just so sad. Can housing fee even go down?